Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at the HSF Tools HP96 thermal camera. What's cool about this camera here is it's actually two cameras in one. You have a super resolution camera of 240 by 240 that you can actually use to overlay a thermal camera, which is a 96 by 96 resolution. Pretty cool setup here. You can do anywhere between negative four degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 662. So it's going to be great for any type of electrical, automotive, plumbing, uh, thermal in terms of, you know, uh, insulating your house or anything like that, looking for any kind of areas that may be damp even. Uh, so you can detect water with this basically because it's going to be colder than the area around it. Another cool thing is it does have a very large 3.5 inch screen. In the package here, you are going to get your um, instruction manual here. It's going to give you a lot of information. You're also going to get this cool pouch. And what I like too is it does have this metal connector here. And on the inside of that is the camera itself. Now again, pretty cool setup. It's got two cameras here on this side. You got a work light right here in the middle. And then here's that nice large 3.5 inch screen. Other cool thing that this does come with is a charging cable. So this is a USB to a USB-C. So you're gonna be able to charge this boy up. And then you also have this cool little wrist strap here that you're gonna be able to thread through a little part on this. So let's go ahead, get a closer look, and give it a try. All right, so here's a closer look at the unit itself. You see this nice large three and a half inch display. Press and hold the power button up here. This is gonna go ahead and turn it on. You've got your camera button here. On this side, you've got your USB-C. On the front here, you have your image camera, and then you also have your thermal camera here, and you also have a flash. And down here on the bottom, what's pretty cool is it's got a little port that you can use to hook up onto a tripod and also a little wrist strap. So if we set this up to look at the door here, we have a couple different options. We can do full thermal. You can see here, nice high resolution. And when you have it on thermal, you can switch between the different cameras as well. So you have hot being black, hot being white. You've got your rainbow effect right here. It's basically a kind of a reverse rainbow. And then you have your rain. Now what I like is that it's got a nice 24 Hertz screen. So it's really nice and smooth. And every once in a while, you're gonna see that image calibration. And that's letting you know that the image is actually calibrating to make sure everything looks nice and is also accurate. And you can see here, this is a pretty cool setting. So there's that image calibrating. That's perfectly normal, it's supposed to do that. So when you see this, you're gonna get kind of a hybrid view. And then I like this one also, where you can kind of change the level of intensity on it as well. All right, so I got some ice right here. We know this is a known temperature, so let's see how accurate it is. Now I'm gonna be using the min and the max here. So you can see the max is showing on the screen that it's 77 degrees, and that's gonna be over here on the table, and you can see it's pretty close. And then also, you can see there, the minimum is 27, which is pretty close to the 32 that you would expect from the ice cubes. All right, now let's take a look at the circuit panel and see which circuits are working the hardest. So we can go ahead here, and you can see definitely a hot spot down in this corner, and when this recalibrates, you can see here, up here in the top, there's also. Now, what's cool about this, when you go over here and actually look at what we're looking at, that's the AC unit, which is this one here, and that one has been running, so you can see it's actually drawing a lot of electric. All right, here's another really cool example of how you can use this for insulation. You can see here the temperature difference between the 63.9 and the max of 75. And that's where, right here in the middle, is where the weather stripping is on this door. And that's definitely where it's the leakiest. Now here's another cool setup here. We've got a computer. You can see all of the little parts. We bring this up here. And then you can see all of the different components that are the hottest versus the coolest. So again, here's pretty cool. You can see that. And then I'd like to love the fact that you can switch between these. Like here's a hybrid mode. So if you turn this just to the thermal, you kind of miss a little bit of detail, but here you have the hybrid. And so you can see exactly where things are, like the back of the case right here. So it's, this is where the vents are. You can pull this up and then you can do the, the middle view here, the picture in picture. And this is pretty cool because you can see here's the CPU and the cooler on the CPU and where all the heat is 